Hello beautiful people, welcome back to Vibes and Decor with Ebunua. It's the last video of the year guys, yay! <laughs> I hope you guys had an amazing 2021 and I hope you're enjoying your holidays. So guys, there's some myth surrounding interior decor in your space. There's some rules that you feel you have to follow book to the book to be able to achieve or to be able to style your space or decorate your space. And these rules have been restricting people this myth has been caging people's creativity. I mean, today we are busting them. So are you ready to bust these bubbles with me? Let's get straight into it. The first one is home decor is expensive. Of course. Interior design can be expensive, but I also believe that expensive is relative. If you have your budget, if you have a plan, I feel you can achieve whatever you want to achieve when it comes to your space. Let's look at it this way. In the world where we have Pinterest these days, we have Amazon, we have so many decor stores around us now. You can literally go online, shop for affordable deco pieces and have them delivered to your doorstep in a matter of days. Gone are the days when um, interior design was like a far-fetched um, option. Now it's available to you. All you have to do is ask yourself, what do I want in my space? What is my budget? You don't have to break the bank for your space to be beautiful. All you have to do, have a budget, stick to your budget, go for things, that bring out your personality and taste in your space. I mean, for every expensive item, there is a dupe. In every industry, even in skincare. So, it's also available in interior design. When you cannot afford a wall hat that is worth hundreds of thousands, there are several ways you can make or buy wall hats that are going to be within your budget and they will still function the same way so guys don't let anybody tell you that before you can have uh, a beautiful space you have to have lots of money no it's not like that all you need to do have a plan have a picture in your head what you want for your space how you want your space to function because whether you like it or not you're going to spend money in your space so why not just make a plan so instead of just going randomly to the market and buying everything why not sit down okay these are the colors i want in my space this is the kind of furniture I want in my space. When you plan, you spend less. When you just go to the market without planning, that is when it gets expensive. So guys, interior design does not have to be expensive. You can tailor it down to your budget and taste. Another myth is that deco can only be seen. Guys, what you feel and smell is as important as what you see. Because imagine having a beautiful space that doesn't smell nice or having a space that the color on the walls do not make you comfortable. I mean, what's the point of having an interior decor or having a home decor that doesn't appeal to you, that doesn't appeal to your sense of feel and smell? This is one of the reasons why scented candles, diffusers, tea lights have become an integral part of interior design. I mean, if you can work hard to have a beautiful space, please put as much work to make your space smell nice. So as you're buying those deco pieces, those deco items, invest in scented candles, invest in diffusers, invest in room sprays. They go a long way in improving your mood and just making you more comfortable in your space. And all these, of course, have to be your preference, the kind of smells you like, the kind of um, emotion you want your space to evoke when you enter. That should be like a foundation for your style. Whenever you're picking your interior design style, picking your furniture, picking anything, you have to think about how you want to feel when you are in that space. So guys, deco cannot just be seen. You smell it, you feel it. Another myth that we are going to scratch off today is that only subtle and sterile spaces are attractive. Scratch that. I dare you to add pop of colors to your space. Everything does not have to be white and black or monochromatic. 
come on if you love colors bring in colors into your space through your decorative items through your rugs your throw pillows just do what you want with your space it does not always have to be oh i just oh, they said they said um the interior design all the colors have to be matching all the colors have to be sterile the place has to be minimal is that what you want if not then leave that alone and do what you want in your space your space is about you so if you want colors bring in colors into your space add yellow to your wall art bring in rugs into your space that have colors that way you had more texture to your space bring in orange throw pillows on your sofa of course you should have a color palette so that you don't go out of your design but don't be afraid to have colors to your space it does not have to be sterile before you can say oh i have an interior design concept in my space so that bubble has been busted the next myth is that everything has to match mm -mm. when it comes to interior design guys there are major seven elements we have the space we have the form we have the line we have color we have light we have pattern we have texture so tell me how everything has to match when all these elements will be working in your space the beauty of a well-styled interior decor is when all these elements complement one another. And when you're when you're complementing textures, colors, it means you're not matching things. So you don't have to have a blue sofa, or because I have a blue sofa, the tropillos have to be blue, the rocks. No. Explore. Have fun with your space. Add textures, add colors. Just have fun as long as you have a plan, you have a color palette you're following. Through your color palette, you can bring in textures, you can bring in lines, bring in patterns. Everything does not have to match. In short, that's it. So, busted. <laughs> the next myth is it has to be trendy. Well, if you're going for a contemporary style where you have to follow trends, then, well, that is a choice. But it does not always have to be trendy. I mean, if your grandma gives you a couch that is vintage, you can make it work in your space. So all this, oh, it has to be trendy, it has to be trendy. No, it does not have to be trendy. There are so many interior design style. If you've not watched my interior design style video, I will leave a link somewhere up here so you can just click and watch. There are several styles in interior designs. There are styles, there, there, there's, there are so many styles. It does not have to be trendy. You can just go with your taste and your personality. What do you want your space to look like? What is your personality like? What is your style like? What colors do you love? Make that your interior design style. Like, let's revolve around that. Don't always, it does not always have to be trendy. If you're someone that is into trends, of course, that is your own option. But if you're not someone that is into trends, so because of that, you feel like, oh, before I can style my praise, I have to buy things that are trendy. No, you don't have to. It does not always have to be trendy. In fact, I believe that trending items get outdated quickly. So by the time you buy something that is trending today, in the next few months, something else is trendy, so you have to change it. I mean, it's not sustainable or cost effective but when you style your space in a way that resonates with your style with the function of the space that is how you achieve timeless decor which means season by season you don't have to buy things all you need to do is tweak things here and there and your space is still beautiful and functional so it does not have to be trendy that is just a myth to make you buy more every season and every year yes so post it today Another myth is that you don't need an interior designer. <laughs> if you're styling a small room or you're just like making changes based on season to your space, of course you can do it all by yourself. But when you are making a major change, you are designing from scratch. It is always cost effective to have a professional on board. So because you have a slight knowledge in a field does not mean you have the experience. That is why interior designs and provide consultation. So if you are planning a big space, a whole house, there are so many technical um, issues, technical problems that could occur, that could go wrong while you're working in your space. So it's always good to bring in professional into the space. So if you are designing from the scratch, a whole building, an office space, a commercial space, please always 
seek for professional consultation there's so many things that could go wrong so many things that you're looking at on the surface that oh nothing can happen when it goes wrong you're going to spend double triple of what you're supposed to spend so people think it's expensive to hire a professional but at the end of the day you might end up spending more than you're supposed to spend when you don't so don't let that bubble take your money when you are styling a space from the beginning from scratch renovating or you are going into an old building always always seek professional help and consultation so guys those are the bubbles we are posting for today you know we spend most of our time in our homes and our homes should be a reflection of our personality our taste and style which means we should pay attention to how our space is do you even like your space? Do you like the colors in your space? Are those colors your favorites? Or you just saw something in the market and you bought it and just slammed it on the wall? So from now on, as you're going into the new year, please pay attention to your space. Pay attention to how your space makes you feel. Your home is supposed to make you feel confident, make you feel happy, because at the end of the day, that is where you come to. Your workspace should make you creative, should make you productive, because that is where you express your values and your work ethics. So guys, don't take your space for granted. As you're buying and investing in your skincare, as you're investing in so many areas of your life, invest in your interiors today. And you don't have to break the bank to do that. So as you're stepping into 2022, keep that in mind. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like this content so I can make more. Guys, I'll see you 2022. Happy New Year in advance. Bye. Thank you so much for 2021.